And your computer also will be wrapped in bubble wrap and inside the firebox. We don't want this to get damaged. This is what it looks like. There's a little instruction note on front. You've got your main on off power and a dial on here to control how much heat the furnace puts out. This here is the 24 volt power to the computer. Now you'll notice we have all the screws here. We left the computer off first for damage, but secondly, so that you can get through narrow doorways as you're taking the furnace into your home. All the bolts are here. You just take these bolts out. They're all in the right place. There is a, uh, a gasket here. You just put those bolts right back in and it's installed. This wire here, this is your power wire. There's inside, there's a red and a white wire. They are not directional. So you can, and they go into the top two terminals here and you don't have to worry which one you get in top and bottom. The next wire that hooks here is coming out the side of the furnace. This is your thermocouple wire. These are directional. So on this little connector here, there's four, four uh, terminals and the red wire goes in the bottom port of this terminal. It goes it says red thermocouple, the red wire goes right along that red. The white wire says thermocouple goes in the white one. That one must be that way or else you'll get a, a, an alert and it won't operate correctly. The only other connection this computer has is for the damper box. And this also comes shipped in the, this will come shipped inside the firebox also. There's a gasket. And same thing, the bolts are all here. You just take them out, you put this in, and you put the bolts back in. And then this cable will come up, and it has like a telephone wire connector, and that'll just plug in. You can't get it backwards. And that's all the wiring there is for the computer. And then that's, that's fine. The only other thing you're gonna have to wire is your high temperature probe uh, that uh, does get wired in and that's on your wiring diagram. Your high temperature probe would be in the rear corner of the plenum here. The low, or the, excuse me, I just, the high temperature probe, yes. Your low temperature probe is actually right here. I took the cover off and this is, this probe, these wires again are not directional. So basically this is an on off switch. This senses how much heat there is in the, in the plenum. When it gets hot enough, this closes, and this is what is the on off switch for your blower. So again, these wires are not directional. You can hook them up either way. Since they're inside the conduit, it is high voltage. If you have a tall plenum, this is the one that we say you should take and unhook this, take and mount it up towards the top of your plenum. That'll allow it to sense the temperature quicker start and stop more accurately. The only other thing you have to do with the wiring is the blower box. Um, this one isn't hooked up here, but there's just a couple wires. There's three wires that are loose here, a red, a black, and a white. The white, and then there's wires inside this box here. So again, just hook those wires according to the wiring diagram. And the white is obviously your, your neutral. Uh, and then the other two, one is for low speed and one is for high speed. And again, if you have any questions with this, first check out your operator's manual uh, or else go to these extra sheets that are online. One is for the high voltage, one for the low voltage. Very easy to read, very simple. And again, if you can't figure it out then, give us a call. We'll be happy to help you. And so when you come to the installation, if you can do those three sections, the chimney hookup, the plenum hookup, and the electrical hookup, you're done. Unlike any other furnace, you don't have to hook up gas lines, fuel lines, everything else. That's it. Now as far as operations, we will do another short video on how to operate. And you're probably going to want to help your customer if you're a professional help them fire it up the first time. There are a few things you need to be aware of. 
you know, dealing with cold chimneys and getting their, your flu set or uh, your draft set and everything. But we'll go over that in a separate how to operate video. So that, that's basically it. Again, if you have questions, give us a call. We're here to help you. Thank you.